Welcome back. March 30th, National Turkey Neck Soup Day. <laughs> no, no idea who came up with this one. It just totally goes against me today. But we have to do something because that's the show. We do something. So I'm definitely not doing turkey necks. Sorry. Uh, I did a lot of research to find out what's the deal with this soup and you literally take turkey necks and you boil them or uh, yeah you cook them down and you boil them or something for like hours because supposedly the meat is so tough on this thing that you got to just like overcook the heck out of it just to make it edible or so why i mean there's so many other parts to the turkey you can eat why am i going to waste a whole day cooking down some necks i mean it's just nasty anyway <laughs> So we're gonna, I found a recipe though that sounded kind of good except for the neck part. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take some turkey thighs and turkey drumsticks and we're gonna replace the turkey neck with that and use that instead. Okay, because that rest of the soup idea sounded kind of cool. Like I like the stuff in it. We got some nice wild rice that's gonna go in it, some leeks, some of these delicious organic rainbow carrots that I found that looked kind of cool. So I think this is going to be, and some mushrooms, it's going to be a fun show otherwise, except for the turkey neck. Now, if you're a fan of turkey neck soup, it's a southern thing, I believe, New Orleans uh, kind of thing. If that's your thing and you like it, by all means, put the turkey necks back in and take the thighs and the drumsticks out. Okay, and you, I'm sure you know how to cook them for hours and hours and hours, and then you take the meat off and whatever. Okay, but this is what we're doing today, so let's get started. Okay, so I have my big sauce stock pot thing. My soup pot is being used for another soup that we're working on. Um, for Not for a show, just for us, for home. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get my pan going here. I'm going to put my two drumsticks and my thighs into this pan. Make sure it's a nice big deep, deep pan because you're going to want to cover this with the water, okay? So I'm going to take my quartered onions and put those in with that, and my celery, okay? Because that's just going to basically flavor and stew our meat, okay? So I'm just going to cover, put as much water in here as I can to cover everything, okay? So that's about eight cups, it looks like, in here. But I think I'm going to put two more. Put two more cups, so we got about 10 cups of water in here, okay? And we're just going to let this cook down. This is going to cook for about an hour or two. Let it just cook all the way through. We'll get the flavor. Hopefully this will turn this into a nice broth um, because you get the flavor from the bones and the skin and the meat and everything on the turkey and the onion and celery and everything, okay? We're going to add a little salt and pepper to this and then just let it sit for about two hours, okay? And then we'll be back to do the rest of this stuff. See you then. So this has been simmering for about two hours. So I'm assuming our turkey is perfectly fine to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all of this out of here. We're gonna strain this so we get just the broth left. Okay, so let's do that and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we took our turkey out. We're gonna let that cool down enough that we can handle it because then we're gonna pull all the meat off it for our soup. Okay, so I'm gonna, same pot, we drained all of our broth out of it too, strained it so there's no onions, carrots and stuff, just toss that stuff according to the recipe, just toss it. You can probably leave it in the soup too, I don't see why not, um, but I'm just following along the recipe to see what this turkey neck thing is. Okay, so we're going to let that cool, in the meantime put a little olive oil in our same pot that we used, and we're going to saute our leeks and our mushrooms. I'm going to slice these up and we're going to throw them in. All right, be right back. Okay, so I sliced up our cremini mushrooms and our leeks, and we put them right into this pan with the oil. And we're just gonna cook these down till they wilt, till it's nice and wilted, okay? The mushrooms have cooked and softened and everything else, okay? In the meantime, while we're doing that, we will chop up into smaller bites our Rainbow carrots. Never had these before. Never even saw these before. Didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> but I figure since we're going a little crazy today with this, that uh, why not just try a bunch of different stuff in it? 
see what we come up with. I still think it's going to be a great soup. All right? So let me saute these, cut those up. Be right back. Okay. And there's our mushrooms and leeks all wilted down, which is exactly what you want. Okay. Now we, in the process while that was doing that, we took all of our turkey meat off the bone. Okay. What you're going to add to this now, to this pot, is our wild rice. It's three cups of this really interesting looking brown and wild rice mix. Never tried this before, so we're going to try it. You're going to put this right in your pot with your leeks and your mushrooms. We're going to take our rainbow carrots, which we cut up into pieces. We'll take our turkey back into the pot. Okay. And we're going to take our turkey stock that we made, and we're going to pour that right back into this pot with all of this stuff. Okay. Look at that. That's a super ready, huh? Okay, so we're just going to mix this up. And now, this is going to sit here and simmer for another hour and a half to two hours. Because you want to wait till the rice is all the way cooked through. Okay? Till it's done. Once the rice is done and the carrots are all cooked, you just, you know, prick them with a fork and you'll see that they're done. Okay? And this is going to make one heck of a nice soup, I think. Now, in the process, while this is doing this later on, after it's been sitting for about an hour or so, you might want to come back and just taste the broth, make sure it needs any salt, any pepper, anything like that to give it some flavor. Um, if you find it to be a little weak, you could also put a little maybe chicken bouillon in there, the powdered stuff, just to kind of give it a little flavor. Most of those already have salt in them. They have a high sodium content. So... I wouldn't add salt and the chicken bouillon, just in case you wanted to jazz it up a little. You can. That's an option for you. All right, we might do that. We'll see. I'll let you know if we do. But in the meantime, we're going to cover this low heat, simmer, two hours. See you later. Okay, so there is our soup. An hour and a half later, and we have this really thick, it's almost like a, a, a rice or a stew. I mean, there's so much rice in it. Maybe I should have went with a little less rice, but you can always add more stock or more broth to this. But nothing wrong with a chunky soup. As you can see, it's very chunky. Okay. And extremely hot. But we're going to give it a taste. Get some of the mushroom. And I mean, look, you got nice big chunks of mushroom, lots of rice, and carrots. Very hearty looking uh, soup we got here. All the blowing on this thing ain't gonna cool this down. <laughs> mm. The rice is good. I never did a wild rice before in a soup like that, just dumping it in and letting it cook. It's probably why it thickened it up. I mean, obviously, it's we had a lot of liquid in there, and the rice obviously sucked up a lot of the liquid. But very good. Nice flavor to it. You get a nice flavor from the dark meat of the turkey, which usually I'm not a dark meat guy. I'd rather the uh, turkey or chicken breast rather than legs or thighs. But all in all, really nice flavor. I can't really enjoy it, enjoy it because it's so damn hot. <laughs> but anyway. That's our take today on turkey neck soup, because we were not doing the neck today. Sorry. Those of you that like it, knock yourselves out. You could have my share of the turkey neck. Don't want it. All right? So that's it. See you tomorrow, everybody. I'm sure it'll be something fun.